Exponential growth and flattening the curve. What the heck does this even mean? Let's talk about it out here on the homestead because no matter what kind of life you're living today, we're all concerned about what the heck is going on. And just so you know, I am Dr. Rob and I really have been studying this and doing this in science and mathematics for my entire life. And we're gonna talk about it in a crystal clear example mathematical way so you'll understand what's going on. And the thing is, is I don't wanna use the specific example of what's going on. This is just talking about what's going on in a very natural, non-specific way. So let's do an example here. And I'm, I'm gonna do math, but just worry about the answers, the numbers at the end. Pretend like you're in math class, in science class, and this is what we're talking about. So let's suppose we have 100 people that are sick right now today. 100 people. And let's suppose that they can infect, each of these 100 people infects 1.3 other people. And then we're gonna, we wanna do it out in whatever time it is. Oop, go on, Carrot. And let's suppose that like the incubation time period is, is five days. So I'm just gonna divide this. Now again, don't stress about the math. I'm just putting it on here so that you can see it. So there's our formula. So, and, and then what that means basically is you start with 100 people. So in five days, you're gonna have 130 sick people. And then in five more days, this 130 people is gonna make 169 people sick. So you start with 100, in five days you've got 130 new people, in five more days you've got 169 new people. So let's suppose, let's look at 90 days. We're gonna go out three months. So we got our 100, 1.3, 90 days in five day intervals. So this number here is 11,246 people. Now that's how many people are getting infected 90 days out. And again, our two variables here are how many people each person infects and, and what that incubation time period is. Now let's go to, let's do 100 and let's say each person can infect two people. So let's do the, and well, let me, and we'll do the T over five here. So that means in five days, 200 people are infected. These 200 people infect 400 people and, and so on. So now let's do our hundreds, 2.0, our 90 over five. So what does this equal? If we just change the 1.3, and this is that exponential growth thing. If here, each person infected 1.3 people every five days. Here, each person is infecting two people and our increment is, is five days incubation. 26,214,400. So this is showing you that exponential growth just going from 1.3 infected people to 2.0, we went from 11,000 people being infected to 26 million people being infected. So that's, again, that's the exponential growth. Now hang on, because this is really critical too, is this is how many new people are being infected 90 days out. Let's sum these things up. Now this is, this is complicated math, so just let me write it out and don't stress. So if we sum up our 1.3s, add, add the 100 plus 130 is 230 plus 169, and we add them all the way up to this last 90 days of 11,246, we get 
48,397 total people have been infected from the original 100 out over 90 days. Now let's do our 2.0 example. So all these numbers are the same. I just use 2.0. And I'm writing messy because I just want to get it on here. You ready for this? Not looking bad so far, right? 52,428,000 that's eight, people. So from 48,000 people to 52 million people. So this is what you know exponential growth and flattening the curve means. Because if we just let a virus run willy-nilly and each person infects two people and the infection period is every five days, in 90 days, in three months, we could end up with 52 million people infected. Now granted, most of those people are probably going to get over it and they may not even know they're sick, but 52 million. If we can, through safety precautions like, you know, staying home, separation things, if we can lower it from 2.0 to 1.3, you know, we drop down to 48,000, you know, and that's what flattening the curve means is is people getting infected and infecting more and more people and then we're adding that all up and we end up with an amazingly huge number of people in 90 days going from 100 people to 52 million you know versus keeping it into a more manageable amount because the less people that get sick the less people we have to worry about getting healthy so i really hope that this has helped explain and describe it quickly and so exponential growth and then by by lower by making this number littler, you know, we can lower that curve down and flatten it out. So I hope that helps you out. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Thanks.